Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Planted Carly Flower. I'm Carly, and today we're gonna to be talking about all of my philodendrons in my collection. We're gonna go over each one, I'll give you a little bit of info, and hopefully you find it an enjoyable video. Please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my great planty content that I have here. I would love for you to stick around, and if you're new, welcome, and if you are already been here for a while, I appreciate you and welcome back. So let's go into it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Okay, guys, so I have my list here with me. And we are just going to talk about, like I said, my philodendrons. And I can't wait to share them all with you. I don't have a gigantic collection, but I'm absolutely branching out into philodendrons more and more every month. Um, I do have some on, a way, on the way that I traded and things of that nature. So those won't be included because I don't have them technically yet and I don't know their care quite yet. But I will do an updated video in the future with those. So maybe I'll do an unboxing, who knows? So definitely make sure you hit that notification bell. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, the first philodendron on my list is my Golden Dragon. Um, I got this from Gaia's Botanics. I have preached about her a lot on my channel. She's excellent. And it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful philodendron. The markings are beautiful. Let me grab it for you real quick. Okay guys, here she is, oh my god. So this is my golden dragon. It does have a new leaf coming out. Um, I received this, like I said, from Gaia's Botanics and it did suffer a bit of root rot in shipping. So I took it out of the barky, chunky mix it was in and put it in moss. Um, it did start to have some signs of root rot and that's how I knew something was going on. The leaves were starting to basically melt and wither away. I did have to cut this lobe off to stop that. But I put it in moss right away and as you can see, we've got beautiful moss roots. It's doing very well. There's even roots coming out of the bottom. Look at that chunker. Look at that chunk chunk root, guys. It's gorgeous. But yeah, there's roots just busting out of this pot. I'm gonna have to put it in a bigger pot really soon. Um, I'll probably stick with moss uh, for the time being because it's doing really well. And if it's doing really well, why, why mix, mix with something that's not broken, you know? But look at that, you guys. It's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. The markings are absolutely stunning. I highly, highly recommend. This is some old damage here, so you can see it's already uh, already browned off. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really, really love this plant, and I highly recommend Gaia's Botanics. Root rot is something that can happen when a plant is in the mail for too long, so it's not always necessarily the seller's fault. Um, and like I said, I it, it bounced right back. It bounced back so quick, guys. Look at those roots. I don't know if you can see them in the pot there, but look at that. Excellent. So, yeah, this is my golden dragon. Okay, guys, the next plant on my philodendron list in my collection is my Billy Tie. I know some people pronounce this differently. They say Billy Tie or whatever. However you pronounce it is fine with me. That's just how I've always said it. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me, and I will make every attempt to say it the other way or any other way that's correct, but I, I do say Billy Tie right now. But I ordered this from Leaf Lux on Etsy and uh, I really like it. It's gorgeous. This is the newest leaf here. This one here is the newest leaf. It is in LECA in a self-watering pot. I do have a new leaf coming in, so that's exciting. And it is just a baby. It's a baby Billy Tai and I wanted one really bad and they're really, really expensive. So getting a baby and watching it grow was totally okay with me. It was much cheaper. I believe I paid in the neighborhood of 150 for this plant and it's very healthy. It's going really well. It's rooted and just doing its best life. I have no complaints whatsoever about this plant or about the seller. I will link all the sellers that I'm mentioning in the box down below. And um, I might have paid a little too much for this plant being a baby at 150, 
But I am a big believer in paying for the plant I fall in love with. I had been looking for a Billy Tie for months and months and months and I saw this plant and I debated for days and I said you know what I'm gonna go to bed and if it's away if it's still available tomorrow it's my sign and I'm gonna buy it and it was still available I even waited until the evening to check it was still available so I jumped it and I took it um, it's great I love it I put it into Lekka almost immediately after it court it's quarantine period I do quarantine my plants for at least a week when I get them and it's been flourishing ever since. Um, I have no problems with it. I will probably eventually move this into Pawn, but it's not a top priority right now since it is doing well in Mecca. Um, it does sit with a grow light. It gets um, lots of southern and eastern exposure, very bright light, and it does have a humidifier right next to it. And it seems to be doing really, really well. So yep, that's my Billy Tie. Okay guys, my next philodendron is riding the struggle bus just a bit. It did not acclimate well to my environment, unfortunately. Um, I did lose two leaves and there's only one left and it's fairly brown, but it does seem to have stopped browning. So I'm hoping this is a turning point for us. And that is my philodendron Florida ghost. You can see the nice brown tip down here. Um, it has really perked up since putting it in pond. And in fact, I have three growth points on this plant now. So I'm hoping some new leaves are not far behind for me. <laughs> it is fully rooted in Lekka now and it is just adjusted beautifully to that. And um, I will probably eventually just cut off the brown tip just to make sure it stops spreading. But uh, yeah, I actually really love this plant. There was a little bit of a dramatic situation when I bought this plant, but overall I was actually pretty happy with, my re with what I received overall. And, um, I can't wait till it starts popping out new leaves and becomes a nice full plant. It lives right next to my Billy Tie, so it has a great sun, it has a nice grow light, it's nice and warm in my room, and it's doing generally well, even though considering the tip is brown, it did not, like I said, did not acclimate well from travel. But um, I've had it for about a month now, and I do believe the worst is behind us, and I'm looking forward to some positive growth in the future. Okay guys, the next philodendron on my list is going to be my philodendron bipenifolium. I bought this off of private seller on the Plant Me Ashley Discord. Highly recommend if you're looking for planty friends and a good group of people. But anyway, um, I got it off of her and I paid for it, I think I paid $40 for the cutting. It was this leaf and this leaf. So this is the oldest leaf. So um, the yellowing and the discoloring of this leaf is of absolutely no concern. It is the oldest leaf. It will eventually die off. But right now it's still photosynthesizing. It still, still, still does have some green. So I'm letting it be. It's, an, it's, it's, our, it's his sunset years, it's his sunset age, but he's still beautiful to me. So I let him hang out. Um, this was the other leaf that was on the plant when I got it. You can see it's starting to get that mature form. But after traveling, acclimating to pond, um, actually, it was Lekka first, and then I moved it to Pond. Um, the plant did start putting out some smaller, um, more immature leaves. And that's okay. I'm totally okay with waiting for it to work out those issues and give me better leaves. This is the newest leaf here. Let's see if I can get a good view of it. That's the newest leaf, and it is starting to get the lobes and stuff. So I'm actually very excited about it. It is, I don't know if you can tell, it is pregnant on this stem on this stem it is pregnant so I cannot wait to see what comes of that this guy does need a nice drink into his reservoir he's almost empty so I will be doing that after this video but he sits right next to my Florida ghost I tend to clump my plants together um, because they all like the same care so when I find a place that works for one plant I'm like oh they all have to go there <laughs> so yeah this is my bipedifolium Okay guys, the next philodendron in my collection, I actually have two of, and there's a little bit of a story behind that, but it's a little bit of a long story. So if you want to hear the story about my pink princesses, put in the comments down below that you're interested and I'll make a video for you. But the first one I have is, um, I already gave it away, my pink princess. This one I received as a three leaf pup. It was teeny. It didn't even really belong in a three inch pot. It was small. It had absolutely zero root system and I put it in moss and I nursed it into the plant that it is right now. It is in pond. It's got a new leaf that is unfurling as we speak. 
and I really actually enjoy this plant. Um, I will make sure you get some close-ups. I know you're probably experiencing a little bit of uh, glare on the leaves. But it's actually very beautiful and it has very light variegation right now. But I'm hoping this new leaf that comes out will have more pink on it. And uh, either way, it's actually a very big journey plant. My boyfriend bought this for me for Christmas and I really thought it was going to die for the longest time. I nursed it to roots with moss and then I put it into pond and it's doing very well. It does live in my Millsville cabinet and gets lots of humidity and light. So it's doing really well. So this is the first pink princess I got. This is the second pink princess I got because I honestly thought the other one was going to die. It was in bad shape, guys, really bad. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up for you. But I bought this pink princess from Relax It's Green on Etsy. It's got some gorgeous variegation. Um, it is in moss right now because I feel like it needs some roots. It only has one root and um, it could definitely stand to have a few more before I pot it up. So it's in moss, it's living its best life. It does have a little pup coming out. Let's see if I can get a view of that for you. There is a little pup in the in the dirt there, see it? Or in the moss. And uh, it's got some great variegation. I really like this plant, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for selling it to me, Relax It's Green. Um, and it also lives in my Millsville cabinet while it grows roots. It's only been in this moss for about a week, maybe. Um, I did have it in water before and it was doing absolutely nothing. So I put it in moss hoping for the same kind of results I had with the other pink princess. And I'm very excited about it. So hopefully it roots soon and eventually I will probably put them in the same pot together. Okay guys, all the rest of these philodendrons are downstairs. And as most of you know, I am recovering from surgery right now and going up and down the stairs numerous times. Carrying plants that I'm not supposed to really be carrying up the stairs is not the best uh, best course of action. So I will go ahead and insert footage of these plants for you. Okay guys, this is my philodendron Brazil. This is one of my favorite philodendrons. I know it's a common philodendron or more common, I guess you could say, but I absolutely love this plant. I really do. It is gorgeous. Um, the markings and the, the, uh, way it looks and everything are just is just too great it's just too good so um i i really really highly recommend this plant it's beautiful as a trailing plant i know that you can get it to climb and get some of those beautiful like um mature leaves from the philodendron make them really huge but i just really love it as a trailing plant and i don't mind that it gets smaller leaves as it trails honestly all personal preference and it's one of my favorites it's absolutely gorgeous and that is my Brazil. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and move on to the next philodendron in my collection. And that is the Burl Marks Fantasy. And I'm gonna insert some footage for you guys. The Burl Marks Fantasy is absolutely a fantasy, you guys. This leaf I have here is about eight inches long. I got this from Houseplant Therapy, I think. I will link her down below and I'll put the correct name on the screen because unfortunately I don't remember it off the top of my head. But she was great. She messaged me right away when I purchased, let me know when she would send it, gave me a little bit of information about it. It was fully rooted when I got it. It's got the second leaf already coming out the top and a third on the way. It has been absolutely a dream. It lives in my Millsville cabinet and it gets all the humidity and all the warmth and all the light. It stays around 80 degrees in the cabinet and it's anywhere from 80 to 95% now at this time of the year, especially if everything's freshly watered. And I love it a lot, guys. I really highly recommend it. It does require some more humidity and a little bit more of that kind of an environment than any other philodendron, but it's still absolutely beautiful. And if you can give it the care it needs, I absolutely recommend it it's been very easy so far it is in moss but other than that it's it's doing really well and that is my Burl Marks fantasy so my next philodendron on my list is actually my favorite philodendron and I know what you're gonna say with all the other philodendrons in the world this is your favorite and I'm sorry but it is this is my philodendron heteraceum yes my favorite philodendron is my regular very common, sold in grocery stores, heart leaf philodendron. I love this plant. It hangs right next to an eastern window. It's beautiful and trailing and gorgeous. And you guys, I cannot get enough of her. She's lush, she's beautiful. I mean, look at her, she's absolutely great. How can you not love this plant? 
I highly recommend it for new plant parents, seasoned plant parents. Some of the most beautiful plants are the common ones. We need to remember that just because something is expensive and highly sought after doesn't necessarily make it the best. This is it for me, you guys. I love it. She's beautiful. Um, I water her when she gets droopy, and other than that, she doesn't demand a lot from me, and we get along just fine. Okay, guys, so I have one more philodendron on my list today, and that is going to be my silver sword. I got this from Plants Shop LL Plants and Crafts LLC on Instagram. I will link her down below as well. And she's absolutely great. This is the first plant I got from her, and I've gotten several others since then. And she's absolutely great, guys. I highly recommend her. She sells in her stories, she has an Etsy shop. Um, I highly recommend following her if you're looking for some really great great priced plants. I paid $40 for this philodendron silver sword. It did have a really big leaf when I got it, but it was the oldest leaf and it since has died off. And that's okay. As you can see, I have three beautiful leaves and I have one on the way. I'm hoping the next one on the way will be bigger and they will get bigger and bigger over the course of time. But she's doing really, really well and I'm really proud of this plant. Um, it's in a pot that my son so gorgeously painted for me um, for Mother's Day one year. So it's in a special pot for a special plant. I love the shine on this plant. It lives in my eastern window. It does get several hours of direct eastern light every day and it does just fine with that. Absolutely zero issues. No problem whatsoever. I water it when it's dry. It will droop a little bit when it's dry. Um, I know it looks a little droopy now, but I promise you that's just the way it grew in. It's not actually wet. I watered it just this morning, so it's good to go. But yeah, that is my philodendron silver sword. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. That was my philodendron collection. Now I do have some more philodendrons in the mail to me. I have a painted lady on the way. I have a Swami Ferrum on the way. Thank you so much Heather's Hoyas for selling that one to me. And I cannot wait to show you all those as well. Um, I am definitely loving philodendrons a lot lately. I know it's so crazy that I didn't buy Hoyas and this is a video not about Hoyas. But hopefully you guys find it interesting anyway if you're looking to expand your collection a little bit into something different. Um, yeah, that is going to do it for me today, guys. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my content. You can follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. I will put all my links in the description box down below in my link tree. Any of the pots or pot ingredients or anything that I use will all also be listed in my Amazon storefront. I really appreciate every single one of you sticking with me this far. Have a great day, guys. Spend lots of time with your plant babies today. Have a good one.